I'm Eric Folks, Instructional Technology Coordinator for Lampasas ISD, and today I'm excited to share with you a new app that I have found that works very, very well with your Dropbox account. What this app does is it enables you to use your iOS device to manage files in a way that you never could with just the Dropbox app or just the default mail client that you'll find in iOS. So the app is called uh, Mailbox, and you can see it down here in the bottom right next to my regular mail. Right now at this point it supports Gmail, uh, and only Gmail, but they have plans to support it in other formats as well. It's actually made by Dropbox, uh, and so the integration with Dropbox is very, very tight. But it's not just the integration with Dropbox that I appreciate so much. The the app works with gestures like lots of other mail clients do, uh, but this one's particularly clean and efficient. And I just want to give you a brief overview of how it works. First, if you do a swipe to the left, from right to left, and you go all the way and you get the little brown box here, you can choose where it's going to go. So you can create various tags. In this case, I'm going to put that in my receipts. And if you swipe from left to right, then it gives you the ability to skip the archiving, which is right here, and go straight to the trash. And if you swipe from right to left like this, you can see when it's in yellow, that means that it's going to be snoozed. I don't know how many times we leave our inbox uh, full of all the emails that we're planning on getting to at some point. but. There are lots of people out there that will tell you you're going to be a whole lot more efficient at work if you can manage your emails and work towards Inbox Zero. Well, for the first time ever, I was able to achieve Inbox Zero using this app. So if I swipe over from right to left until I get the snooze option and I let go, it asks me how long I want to snooze it for. So you can see I've got lots of different options, including the ability to customize. Someday I can say that someday is supposed to be a month from now or two months from now, whatever the case may be. I can even pick an individual date and time that I want the email to go back to my inbox so that it's brought to my attention. So let's say it's Friday afternoon and you know that you need to get on that Monday morning but you don't want to leave it in your inbox, you can always say next week and it's going to show up at the beginning of the next week. Same thing with tomorrow, it'll show up uh, at a preset time for tomorrow, typically 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. But it's really nice and really efficient so I'm going to say I want this one to show up tomorrow. So uh, it's very, very quick to take multiple emails and do any of the above actions with them. So let's say these two emails I want to delete. So if I use two fingers, I can swipe multiple emails at the same time and delete them at the same time. So this email I just want to add to my Explore Informational Technology at a later time. So I let go and it gives me all of the tags that I've created. So. Uh, here's another nice one from Scoop It. I'm just going to move that into my Explore IT and this deal of the day. Uh, I'm just going to archive this. Maybe I'll get to it another time, but I don't want to go straight to the trash, so I'll just swipe it until it's green from left to right. And this one, I'm going to skip the archive and go straight to the trash. So every time you achieve Inbox Zero, it gives you a neat little icon so that you know you are all caught up. You have the ability to see what you have archived. Uh, at the very top left here, I can see, um, not, excuse me, not what I've archived, but what I have snoozed. So you can see what's been snoozed for and, and when it was snoozed for. If I wanted to take any of these emails and change them, uh, it's very easy to click on the little icon and click on the yellow section up at the top, uh, deferred into a particular time. I'm going to click on that little icon and I can pick a particular date. And time that I want this to show up. So it's really nice to be able to control when it's going to come back to your inbox. So I can also see anything that I have archived. These are things that are going to be trashed after a certain amount of time. Usually it's 30 days or so, but for right now they're just archived. And then of course here's my regular box. If I want to manage any of my tags, I can do that in the top left hand corner. You can see the three blue lines there. This is where you can see I've got my Gmail, my work Gmail connected. I can see what's in my later and then I can see any of the lists that I've created. 
I can go to my archive, trash, sent, all these file folder um, labels as well. And then in the settings, this is where we would actually set things up. So you can see I've got two email accounts. If I wanted to add another account, I would do that right there. I can even set uh, a default email account that I want things to be sent from, and I can customize the signatures for each one of those if I wanted to change it. So I can set my sync preferences, how often I want it to sync, and I can set preferences for, uh, I can manage my list right here if I need to. It's real easy to move them around. And I can even uh, go to my snooze preferences and say I want my weekends to start at this time, my work day to end at this particular time, uh, my week to start and end, and I can tell it later today, someday. I can customize a lot of the snooze settings right in there. And even tell it, uh, even customize my notifications and things like that. Uh, and then down at the bottom, you can see there is my Dropbox account. So what's really nice is uh, if you link your Dropbox account, first, you're going to get one gig of extra space in your Dropbox account because they make the app and they want it to be integrated with Dropbox. But also, if I go back to my mailbox here, and I'm going to uh, compose, and you see how I did that in the top right-hand corner. I want to compose a message to somebody. Going to search my contacts. And you can see when I do a long press in the body of the text, I have the ability, let's put in some text here. I can select something and I can cut, copy, and paste. I can uh, replace it, define, speak. I can change it to bold, italic, underline, all those basic things. But you'll see what's lacking right here is the ability to insert an image from the camera roll. Well, the way the app's set up, you would do that in the bottom uh, right-hand corner of your email right here where you see the camera. And so I can take a photo on the flyer, choose a photo, just like the default mail client. And so it will insert it straight into the text of the email. But here's where it gets really nice. I also have a paperclip right here. And this paperclip gives me the ability to attach anything from my Dropbox account. So let's say I want to attach an image I put in Dropbox. The image is going to show up. If I want to attach a Word document, the Word document is going to show up. Or if I want to attach a link to an MP3, so anything you've got in your Dropbox, you can attach links to straight to your email. Now, how is this different from the Dropbox app itself? Well, in Dropbox, you can go to a particular file and you can email that file, a link to that file through a particular user using the default mail client. But you can't pull in links to multiple files quite as easily as you can with the Mailbox app. Here I've got links to Word documents, images, MP3s, all kinds of different things. So it gives me the ability really to manage my files on an iOS device like I never could before. And so when I send it off, it's going to come back to this same, uh, to, the, to my mailbox app since I've sent it to my Gmail account and my Gmail account is in my mailbox account. So if I just drag down, well, it looks like it refreshed automatically. So here's how that shows up and hits my, my inbox. So it's downloading everything, and uh, it pulls in the images full screen, so you can actually preview them right there. And then the Word document, MP3, they didn't download automatically, at least the MP3. So really neat app. And of course, when I've actually gone into it, I'm given all the options up at the top here. If I want to delete it, archive it, snooze it, or add it to a particular list, if I click the Back to Mailbox uh, button up here, it's going to take me back here, and then I would use the swipe to do whatever I want with this. Okay? So in this case, let's say we just want to snooze it until later today. And when it comes back into your email, back into your Mailbox account after you've snoozed it, it's going to be starred to indicate that you've already snoozed this at some point, so it's important. Uh, and needs to be paid attention to. 
So how do you integrate this directly with your Gmail account? Well, there's only one trick. When you first download Mailbox and it goes through the initial setup and you put in your Gmail credentials, what you'll notice if you have any problems is that it needs to be synced to your IMAP accounts. It's going to say, we've got to have access to your IMAP account. So if I go into my Gmail account, and then I go to my little settings, and I go to settings, and I go to labels, it will, make, it will want you to make sure that you've got show in IMAP indicated on your trash, your all mail, and your sent. And that's because when it integrates with your Gmail account, what it does is create a subfolder. You can see over here on the left, it creates a subfolder with any of the tags that you've added. So these are the lists that I have created. So I can add emails to these various lists. And because it integrates you know, with Gmail in terms of archiving and trashing email and stuff like that, it's got to have access to those things. So that was the only tricky thing I found is making sure that all these were, were uh, marked as show in IMAP. And once I did that in a regular web browser and then I tried to set up the mailbox account again, it worked just fine. So looks like I've got a tweet that's been favorited so I can very easily just take that straight to the trash. All right, I'm Eric Folks, Instructional Technology Coordinator for Lampasas ISD. It's been a pleasure showing you Mailbox, and I hope it makes your life more productive and more mobile. Thanks so much for your time.